Hi, I'm Sean, and welcome to Creating Compelling Web Video. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the actual shooting process and give you a few tips on making everything work a bit better. Now, you don't need a fancy setup to shoot a video that's going to shine, but it does help to have a bit of structure in place to make the most of the gear that you do have. First of all, if you have a tripod, set up your camera on it and frame your shot so everything is going to look the way you want it to. If you're going to be shooting outdoors, it's good to set it up so that you're not right in a busy area. That way you won't have people walking through your shot or bumping the camera. If you're going to be on camera, it's a good idea to have someone else monitoring the camera or at least guarding it. That way you can focus on the content rather than on the camera. It's best to choose a well-lit area to shoot in and to be sure you're not standing in a darker area of the shot you've composed. If you need extra lighting, be sure to set it up to make sure that everything in your shot is properly lit. But remember, it's often easier just to simply move to somewhere that's better lit. Before you get started, you'll also want to be sure that your audio is good enough. If you're using the microphone on the camera itself, make sure that you're not too far away or the background noise will overwhelm what you're trying to say. Also, if you move towards or away from the camera, the audio levels will change. And remember, if it's windy outside, that will really affect the audio, so it's best to position yourself in an area protected from the wind. If your camera can handle input from an external microphone, it's really worth considering adding a better quality microphone. There's a type of microphone called a shotgun mic. Simply point it at the person that's speaking and it will zero in on their voice, not the background, and it often mounts right on top of a camera. If you want to be sure that the mic is where you are, you can use a handheld microphone, or you can use a clip-on lavalier microphone clipped to your shirt, like the one I'm wearing right now. With these, you'll need a long wire to connect back to the camera, or you can spend a little bit of extra money and get a wireless microphone pack, which will give you freedom of movement. You won't actually be tethered to the camera. If you have a camera that can be set to manual focus, you may want to consider switching from automatic to manual if you're planning a shot where the focus point needs to stay the same. Otherwise, if you're in a busy environment where things keep moving around, especially in the background, you may find that your camera keeps changing its focus point if you're in automatic mode. Setting it to manual means your focus point will stay the same no matter what else is happening in the shot. Now you're ready to actually start shooting, but there are a few more tips that will help you later during the editing process. First of all, don't just press record and immediately start. Likewise, don't just press stop immediately after you're done. Give yourself a bit of breathing room at both the beginning and the end of your shot. It will give you the ability to use transitions or fades from one shot to the other while you're editing. It's also a great idea to shoot way more than you think you need to be sure you have backup footage. Sometimes you shoot something, but there's something wrong with the footage that you didn't quite notice during the shoot. If you have an alternative take, you can use that, or if you've shot the action from a different angle, you can always use that footage to cover up any problems. That also means shooting a bunch of B-roll, or footage of items related to what you're talking about. For example, if you're talking about gardening, shoot a few different flower beds or vegetable patches. If you're talking about cars, get some shots of cars from different angles or from inside the car. That way you'll have footage that can help emphasize the things you're talking about in the video. Once you're done shooting, you're ready to start the editing process. We'll talk about that in the next part of the series.